you ready to be chased by the spirits of old Hawaii? Because this popular haunted attraction is located at a real haunted village. Chris Latronic is terrified. He joins us now live in Waipahu with more. Chris, are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm okay, Sam and Christine. Yes, it's, it's the middle of the morning and already getting spooky vibes here at the Hawaii Plantation Village. And right now, uh, checking out one of the immigrant, uh, old immigrant Portuguese kitchens here, which is super eerie. So yeah, the cool thing about this, yes, it's already a haunted area with these plantation homes uh, being replicated after old ones from Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, even Filipino homes right here at the Plantation Village. And all these are gonna be set up to be the haunted plantation which already started actually Friday the 13th, but the next one's gonna be this weekend, Friday, and to tell us more is the man, curator, and founder of the Haunted Plantation, as well as many more, Noah Laporga. Good morning, sir, so tell me, things actually, how did things ha uh, all start out this year from Friday the 13th, how's things been here? Oh, well, it's uh, been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out, yeah, opening weekend, so it's good, it's a good start. That's good, that's good. So yeah. tell me, what? Uh, can, uh, how'd you come up with this idea all the way back in 2006? Well, um, what's important to know is that Hawaii's Plantation Village is a nonprofit organization, and this whole village is um, to teach people about just the plantation culture and the mm -hmm. lifestyle here, how it used to be um, at the sugar plantation. So um, I really want to stress out that, you know, off-season, that people should come out yes. and just kind of support this awesome place. And the Haunty Plantation started because, you know, it is, you know, a way to bring people, the community out mm -hmm. to this village. And uh, it's also the biggest fundraiser for Hawaii's Plantation Village, which is what's really important to me. So. Wow, so great, great silver lining. This place yeah. in the daytime, beautiful, and a lot of history that you can learn, but also at night, especially during yeah. this time, it's Noah turns guy. it on its head into something yeah. super creative and, of course, super scary. Now we're in the, this is the Portuguese house. Tell me a little bit about this place. Yeah, so um, this, oh, this is the Puerto Rican house. Puerto Rican. Yeah, so this is at the Puerto Rican house. Um, the, a lot of people say they hear like uh, babies crying on the front porch. Um, I seen it one time with a bunch of our staff members were out in the parking lot, which is kind of, you know, across the ways. Right, right. Um, but we hear like a baby crying, and we look and we see a lady carrying a baby. She was all in white, right on the porch, and then we all came like kind of running through because the plantation was closed at that time and she was gone but that's not the first time someone's seen something like that or experienced that um, some of the docents on the earlier years said they heard the same thing a baby crying and then they would come over look see someone a lady in white uh, just just kind of cradling a baby mm -hmm. and then um, they would come and then uh, she wasn't here so Wow. It so, was scary. Yes, and uh, it seems like you take the themes that you people really experience and you put that into fruition for the haunted uh, plantation. So tell me about what we're seeing here in the room. Um, well, yeah, this is just, uh, I guess, <laughs> obviously this house is a replica of the Puerto Rican house. And, of course, they have the mosquito nets in here because back in the days, you know, that was a problem. Yes. And uh, I really don't know the history of that doll, but... Or the mannequin, but, things but have been yeah. Happening. So like that's one thing that I know. Some people said there was like movement in the house of seeing a, like a little girl, you know, just kind of moving around in the house. And when they come into the the house or look through the window, um, they see movement or like notice her, yeah, just in here. Yes, you even had experience. Oh yeah, like that's on. Yeah, it's not just me, uh, my staff people, but also a lot. Some of the customers in the daytime, you know, when they come uh, for the daytime tours, they experience some stuff. Oh, so you better yeah. watch a lot of things happening here. This is just one of the many houses here. So when's the next time we could see the Haunted Plantation and how do we get more information and access here? How do we get tickets? Okay, so you can visit HawaiiHauntedPlantation.com. You go on that booking site and then you can reserve your tickets. But you just reserve it online and you come here and you pay for your tickets here. Okay, and make sure you do that because as he is saying, it sells out every year, almost yeah. every show. So make sure you come, uh, get on there early, reserve it, and then come here and experience it. And even in the daytime, come check out this beautiful nonprofit, the Hawaii Plantation Village. No one, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. This is Chris Achonik working for Hawaii right here at the Haunted Plantation.
sending things back to you. Creepy voice right there, Chris. I know. Well Aren't we supposed to be safe from the spirits in the daytime? I thought that's the rules. You would think, and no, then he said that there's been some stories yeah, from the daytime. But it, you know what? It is an educational spot, though. Yeah. It is. But I gotta say, the setting, it is pretty spooky already because it's yeah. not like it's next to buildings, a plantation village. It's like mm. kind of tucked away. Yeah. It's surrounded by trees. So already it's kind of got that eerie, secluded feeling. Yeah, real perfect place to get spooked. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids are particularly spooky as well. I don't know if it's The Shining that made me feel like that, but like the kids' bedroom, that's gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anywhere you see dolls or mannequins, yeah? yeah. Not great.